Hi there, my name is Matti Sulanto and in this video I'm gonna show you how to use back button focusing and how it can make your photography experience better. I'm going to show you how it works on Lumix cameras. But almost every system camera has the same or similar kind of features. So it might be worth to stick around and see what I'm going to say even if you are not yet a Lumix user. Back button focusing is exactly what it sounds like. Instead of using the shutter button on your camera, you are using the button on the back of your camera to activate the autofocus. And now I'm going to tell you three ways to use this feature to make your photography experience better and more convenient in some situations. Number one, you want to separate the shutter release and autofocus uh, functions. Traditionally, before we got autofocus cameras, the focusing and the shutter release there are two different uh, functions to perform. We typically used our left hand to focus the camera and the right hand to release the shutter. On some large format cameras the process was a bit different, but in any case those two were two separate uh, functions. First uh, focus and then release the shutter. But then we got autofocus cameras and things changed a little bit. Probably the most common way to activate the autofocus on any camera is to press the shutter halfway. And then the camera will focus and then press the shutter fully and the camera will take the, uh, the picture. And in theory it's a pretty like foolproof way to make sure that you never forget to focus because the camera will do it uh, every time before you take the picture. But it's not the best way in every situation and we all know that um, it doesn't always guarantee you'll get a sharp photo. The major downside of having the autofocus on the shutter release button is that the camera will focus every single time you take a picture even if it's not necessary. If you're taking multiple pictures of some subject that is not moving anywhere, maybe it's a group shot of people, product shot, uh, landscape, cityscape, or something similar. It's only necessary to focus once and make sure you nailed the focus and then just take the pictures and no need to refocus every time you take another frame. And there's always a small risk that the camera can misfocus one or more of the frames if it uh, focuses every single time you press the shutter. And there are probably many, many other situations where it's really practical to have the shutter release and the autofocus as two totally separate actions. And now I'm gonna show you how to set up your Lumix camera this way. And by the way, this is also my favorite setup. I'm gonna use my Lumix G90 as an example here. But the menu is really similar on pretty much every Lumix camera. First you go to the custom spanner menu and uh, select the AFAE lock. And there you activate the AF on uh, function. And then you go down to the Shutter AF tab and select the Shutter AF off and you're all set. Now you have your autofocus on the back button and the Shutter release does only what it's supposed to do, just uh, release the shutter. On the S1 series cameras it's a bit different because there's a dedicated autofocus button on the back of the camera that by default activates the autofocus. The only thing you have to do is go to the menu, the cog menu and the second autofocus tab and uh, shutter, release, shutter AF and turn it off. Now your shutter release only releases the shutter and the AF on button activates the autofocus. Before I show you the second way to set up the back button focus, 
Can I ask you or may I ask you to sign up for my monthly newsletter? In my newsletter, I'll share uh, tips and tricks that I don't necessarily share on here on YouTube. I also share other photographers' work that I think is interesting or inspiring. And of course, I share updates on what happened here on this channel, just in case you missed something. So please, after this video, head up to my website sulanto.fi and sign up. And there's also a link in the description uh, uh, to sign up. Thanks, and now I'm gonna show you the second way to set up your back button focus. Some of you may still prefer to have the autofocus on the shutter release. But occasionally it would be nice if the camera would not focus every time you press the shutter. Well, you can use the back button, back focus button to lock the autofocus. The way it works is that you press the button once, the focus is locked and even if you press the shutter, the camera will not focus. Then you press the button the second time and the autofocus is released again and it works normally. You can, of course, activate the manual focus but uh, that's an extra step and uh, there's always a risk that you forget the, the camera on, on manual focus and then comes a situation and you miss the shot because the camera will not focus. And you can assign the AF lock function to the same AF button. You just go to the uh, same custom spanner menu and there the focus release shutter tab and there you select the AFAE lock and activate the AF lock function. Also make sure the next option the AFAE lock hold is activated. If you set this at off the autofocus lock is only active while you press the button but as soon as you let go of the button also the autofocus lock is released. And now every time you press the autofocus button on the back of your camera, the autofocus is locked. And it doesn't, uh, the camera doesn't focus even if you press the shutter. And there's also a green light on the screen and in the viewfinder to tell you that the autofocus is locked. And when you press the sh uh, button a second time, the autofocus lock is released. It's also good to realize that the autofocus lock is reset every time you power your camera off and back on again. So for example, you have your camera on a tripod and you are waiting for something to happen in front of the camera and you turn the camera off and then you turn the camera back on when the action is happening the autofocus lock is not activated anymore if it was activated before you turned your camera off. So it's good to um, realize that. And this also works well with Olympus lenses, just in case you are wondering. And now it's time to move to the third way of using the back button focus. What if you prefer to use manual focus most of the time? But sometimes it would be nice to be able to use autofocus also, but you don't want to switch back and forth between autofocus and manual focus. Well, you can still activate the autofocus by pressing the back button, even if you switched your camera to manual, uh, manual focus mode. And this works with every lens. You can use the switch on the back of your camera or on your lens to switch on uh, the manual focus. But if you have a lens with the manual focus clutch and you're using the manual focus clutch, then the autofocus button does not work. The manual focus clutch will override everything. There's no need to specifically activate this mode. Just make sure you have the AF on function assigned on the button on the back of your camera. So these are my three ways of using the back button focus. But if you have some other ways or tips and tricks on using the back button focus, please let me know in the comments down below. I really hope these uh, tips will help you to keep your holiday photos in focus. 
Thank you so much for watching, but before you go, you may want to check out these couple of videos that I chose for you. And after this video, make sure to get some more great photos. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.